Welcome to Sunday, November 8th, 2020. And what a week we have been through, huh? Boy, oh boy. So as of yesterday, they finally called the race for Joe Biden. Now, I don't know which way uh, you were looking to vote, if you voted Republican or Democrat or whatever you did, <clears throat> that is your own personal business. And uh, we're not going to get into the uh, discussion of the whole political thing. Um, on both sides, you have to admit, if you look at the total popular vote, both the president and the president-elect, um, the Republican and the Democrats, they both turned out record number of voters to vote for them and their party. I believe they were well over 70, 70 million apiece, between 70 million and 75 million apiece and everything else. Um, so, I mean, kudos to both of them. I mean, that is quite the accomplishment if you really sit back and think about it, that two people in a presidential race turned out that much of the American population to vote. And I think that's a beautiful thing. I don't think anybody out there can disagree with that. Um, I think that you know, a lot of people wanted to make their voices heard. Now, you know, there were several different ways that they could do it uh, between the mail-in ballots, the early uh, voting, and then the voting on the day of the election. So, you know, that is all pretty much over and said and done. Um, yes, there'll probably be some recounts and things of that nature that are going to be going on and everything. Um, but we'll see how that all plays out. The main point that you want to make stay focused on is now that uh, they have finally made the announcement and everything else, uh, what happens next? Uh, do they uh, start doing recounts and everything else? There has been some protesting going on. Uh, it seems to be, so far, we're getting lucky, it seems to be pretty uh, controlled. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of uh, damage and looting and everything. At least as of right now, the time that I'm shooting this video, which is Saturday afternoon. But we'll see what happens. My message today is the preppers out there, and to all you beginning preppers, you want to make sure that you're staying vigilant in your prepping. Because the one thing over the last week that nobody has been talking about is the Charlie Victor 19. Now, in case nobody has really tried to pay attention to that, because I understand with the whole presidential election, that kind of took center stage on every channel, and that's what everybody was reporting on. I mean, you can understand that, but you also have to remember, in the back of your head, there's this little thing out there called Chili Charlie Victor 19, and uh, it's just kind of like holding around, and it's making a comeback. So as of, what was it, Thursday, I believe it was, in the United States, we posted our largest amount in one day throughout this whole thing. And it was over 116,000 cases in one day, which is pretty alarming if you really think about this. Now, hopefully that the whole presidential election thing is pretty much done except for all the recounts and anything that has to take place with any of that. And let's just all hope and pray that both sides can uh, behave themselves and we don't have any um, unrest, civil unrest, looting, uh, destroying any more property or anything else. It's time for this country to come together and try to get back on track where we need to be, where brother helps brother, it's not brother stabs brother, if you get what I'm saying. 
So, but you want to make sure that you're staying vigilant because this Charlie Victor 19 is really starting to take off and hopefully they're going to start covering this more in the news and everything else and something's got to give somewhere. Something's got to happen in order to get this thing under control. Either people have to start changing the way they do things. I know a lot of American people out there, um, you know, they don't want to change anything. They just want to go on about the very, you know, their daily lives and just keep on trucking down the road without doing anything to protect them or other people around them. Which, you know, I guess is all fine and dandy. It's why you live in America. But that's just killing the whole situation. And I just pray to God that for those people, they don't contact it or they don't spread it. You understand? So, you know, I've talked about wearing masks before. A lot of people uh, uh, disagree. They don't think that they help anything or anything else. But in, as far as I'm concerned, you throw on an N95 mask and uh, pretty much cuts out just about everything that you would breathe in. Any, you know, particles or anything like that. You just got to make sure that you have like the refills and things of that nature. You want to make sure you're staying up on all your preps, everything from your first aid, your canned goods, um, you know, if you can afford it, if you want to, you know, move up a notch and you want to start getting into the freeze dried foods, you know, the whole, you have to stay with the mindset that you have a goal and you need to reach that goal. And then once you reach the goal, you maintain that goal and you turn around and you always rotating your stock you're always adding to your stock it's a it, it's a constant wheel and this wheel keeps turning okay people it just keeps turning you have to remember that all right once in a while you got to put new tires on your car because you wore the wheel out it's the same thing with rotating your stock and everything else as you use your products if you have a working pantry which most people should have especially if you're storing canned goods um, you want to make sure that you're rotating your stock, you're turning the wheel. You people have to understand it's, it's a process. So you turn the wheel, you're moving the old from the back to the front and you put the new in the back. Yes, it can be a pain in the neck, but um, it's what you have to do. This way that you're using the oldest product first and the newest product is going in the back so that it's going to last even longer and you're using up the older product that is in the front you know there's a whole method to it and it's not that hard to do it can get monotonous if you have say tight spaces in your cupboards and things so you have to keep pulling stuff out and putting stuff in you know you may want to try to come up with some type of system where maybe you store you know something products in over here in a spare closet or something like that and then as you use these products then move this over and then put new into back into the closet and put the old into the cupboards in your kitchen might be an idea for you but what you just have to remember is you have to stay on top of your game don't let your game down because as soon as you do something majorly is going to happen now a lot of the stores are staying pretty well stocked up right now on a lot of the products and stuff. Uh, there are some areas in the stores from what I have noticed this week that you know are a little bit lacking but you know I think you're going to have that for quite a while. I, I don't think we're going to see stores fully stocked and all the shelves and everything else for quite a while. Quite a while. I'm thinking next year, spring, maybe the beginning of uh, summer, just for the fact of we don't know which way this Charlie Victor 19 is going, and as of right now, it's going through the roof. We don't know how soon they're going to come out with some vaccination. Not that I'm going to get a vaccination, even if they come out with it tomorrow. Uh, I'll be the last one in line. Um, I'm not into something that's been rushed through. 
until I can see what happens when they start giving it to a few million people and as long as they all live, I might think about it. But that's a big if. You all can do whatever you want. That's why we live in this country. That is my opinion and my opinion only. So you wanna make sure that you're staying on top of your preps this is the main key of this whole video. You wanna make sure that you're staying on top of what you need to do in all aspects. You wanna make sure that you don't let your guard down at this point in time in the game because right now is when you gotta be on top of your game. We see the writing on the wall with what's going on with the Charlie Victor 19 and the cases are just going through the roof. Some states are worse than other states and everything else but all it takes is a few people to start traveling back and forth between these states because basically, I mean, down here in Florida, you got people coming in and out all the time from New York, Jersey, uh, Michigan. Now a lot of the snowbirds are down here uh, from the United States. A lot from Canada decided to stay in Canada for the simple fact if they came down here and they somehow or another contracted the Charlie Victor 19, their insurance will not pay. So they're stuck with the bill. And you're talking that could be thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, depending on how sick you got and how long you were in the hospital. I see you bed and you're stuck in there for two or three weeks because you're on a ventilator and everything else, you might as well forget it because you'll never pay that off before you're dead. It just ain't gonna happen. So you wanna make sure that you're staying vigilant, people. Do your part. Try to make sure that as preppers, you know, you try to avoid any type of a situation that's gonna put you or your family into harm's way. So if that means you have to social distance a little bit, so be it, what's the big deal? If that means that if your area is a real hot spot, don't go anywhere. If you've been prepping for a while or years or however long you may be in prepping, you know, if you don't gotta go out, don't go out. I mean, it's plain and simple, you know? If you choose that you don't believe any of this and you think it's, as some people have commented on my channel, the flu, well, then by all means, go out and have a good time. I don't know what else to tell you. You know, it's to each their own. I'm not here to judge you. You can do whatever the hell you want. I'm just here to try to save and keep people prepared and making sure people don't forget what else is going on besides the presidential election. Because all of a sudden this whole last week, we haven't heard nothing about the Charlie Victor 19. Every station you put on, it's all about the presidential election. You know, and 24-7. The widow you wasn't that much to talk about. They just kept going over the same numbers and same numbers. You know, a couple times a day, a few states released numbers, and then they would be all over it, you know. And then we got to break it down and analyze it and run it through a computer and the statistics and everything else. And we have to listen to all that. You think they could have just uh, maybe did a break from that and then had at least on the top of every hour, you know, some other news that's going on. But we don't really work that way. That, that would make too much sense. That would give us too much information that we probably are really looking for. So once again, people, all right, make sure that you're staying on top of your preps and don't let your guard down. Make sure that you go through, check your first aid, Make sure you, you're, you're checking everything as you're using your stock, you're replenishing it, especially why the stores still have all this kind of stuff in the stores. Make sure that you just keep replenishing it. If you use four cans of green beans in a week, every in your week you order, always add another four or another five. You know, add an extra one each time. You know, a lot of, uh, like Walmart right now, a lot of places are all running all their canned goods and stuff all on sale just because of, of it's Thanksgiving time. So everybody's trying to stock up and, you know, get stuff for their Thanksgiving meals and everything else. And which is around the holidays is a perfect time for a prepper to start stocking up and adding to their supplies because of the sales. 
you can save, say you save 25 cents a can, you know? If over the whole holiday season through January, you buy 100 cans, you're saving 20 cents a can. I'm just using that as an example. I'm not telling people to go out and buy 100 cans of green beans. But you get my point. You're saving a lot of money, you know, and you can save money on a lot of different things. So the ball's in your court, people. Just don't drop it, all right? We can get through this. We'll get through this one way or the other. You know, we just have to stay diligent. We have to stay focused. We have to stay prepared and we have to work together so if anybody's got comments or anything anything that can help people out like if you see a sale somewhere or something like that and you know that there are people on this channel that all live in you know like a, a certain area or whatever else you know throw it out there hey I saw that you know this grocery store had this on sale or this or that you know anything to help people out because that's what we're all about here we have to stick together as community and help each other out if you have tips and tricks, if somebody puts something in there, I don't care who comments, comment away, you know? This is what this is all about. We all have to work together. And this way here, we all work together, we all make it to the other side. The boat don't sink, if you get what I'm saying. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next Sunday morning at 11 a.m., I'll catch you all on the flip side.